Hi, I'm Lindsay with Josh's Frogs, and I am proud to introduce to you the Josh's Frogs Habisphere Dart Frog Complete Kit. It comes with everything that you need to keep a single dart frog alive and happy. Uh, it's perfect for most small to medium sized dart frogs, and it'll look something like this when it's put together. Exoterra Habispheres make great vivariums with very little modification. The glass terrarium allows for easy viewing, especially with the very cool curved glass front. The vent on top should be sealed with packing tape or a similar product, or else the vivarium will quickly dry out. The top also has a built-in LED day-night light. Josh's Frogs recommends that you wipe out the Exoterra glass terrarium before use. Josh's Frogs False Bottom is a green product made from recycled materials. Josh's Frogs False Bottom is a very lightweight option for creating a false bottom, which serves to create a void for excess water to go, so it does not saturate the soil layer. It also wicks water slowly back into the substrate, allowing for a more humid environment. Additionally, Josh's Frog's false bottom provides a large amount of surface area for beneficial bacteria to grow. These bacteria will work to metabolize waste for the system, resulting in a cleaner environment. Simply put, the substrate barrier included in the kit is placed between the hydroton and substrate layers in the vivarium to prevent the substrate from pushing down into the hydroton. This keeps the substrate drier, improving growing conditions in the vivarium as well as extending the life of the substrate. The substrate barrier can be cut or folded in, uh, to fit in your specific enclosure. ABG Mix is a premium substrate for tropical vivariums. A precise blend of tree fern fiber, charcoal, sphagnum peat, long fiber sphagnum, and fir bark, this substrate is capable of lasting several years when used properly. Originally perfected by the Atlanta Botanical Gardens of Atlanta, Georgia, this substrate will support a sizable population of microfauna while allowing plants to thrive. It's a good idea to wet the substrate before placing it in the vivarium. Long fiber sphagnum moss lasts a long time in the vivarium and it has natural antifungal and antibacterial properties. It's placed between the substrate and leaf litter layers in a vivarium to prevent the substrate from adhering to the frogs and to increase the suitable environment for microfauna. The long fiber sphagnum moss comes in a compressed brick and will need to be expanded in water prior to use. Leaf litter is an integral part of a naturalistic vivaria. It slowly breaks down providing both organic food for the microfauna and plants in the tank. Leaf litter also provides hiding places and visual barriers for the larger inhabitants of the vivarium. It is the final layer in the vivarium. Leaf litter may consist of live oak, sea grape, magnolia, or a combination of the three. Josh's Frog's cork bark tube is perfectly suited for use in humid vivaria. It will initially mold, but this mold will disappear within a couple weeks and is not harmful to the vivarium inhabitants. Place the wood in the vivarium in a way that allows you to plant on or around it, where it provides additional usable space for the future vivarium inhabitants and is visually appealing. Attach the bromeliads included in the plant kit to the cork tube. The Josh's Frog's Dart Frog Plant Kit comes with a wide variety of tropical plants perfectly suited for growing in a poison dart frog vivarium. These live vivarium plants are grown without harmful chemicals and may consist of bromeliads, ferns, pilea, peperomia, selaginella, and others. The Exoterra analog temperature and humidity gauges will allow you to stay on top of the temperature and humidity level in your dart frog's enclosure. Place on the back or side inside the tank, about halfway up, in a place where it will not be misted directly. Aim for a temperature between 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 79 degrees Fahrenheit, and keep humidity above 80%. Value and function come together in the Josh's Frog spray bottle. Inexpensive, reliable, and sure to get the job done, this spray bottle holds 16 ounces of water. Depending on the humidity needs of your pet dart frog, you'll want to mist once every day or two. Make sure to use distilled or RO water. The simplest, most economical means of feeding poison dart frogs are culturing your own fruit flies. Josh's Frog's Complete Dart Frog Kit comes with our Melanogaster Fruit Fly Culture Kit, which comes with one producing Drosophila Melanogaster culture, as well as enough supplies to make 10 Melanogaster Fruit Fly cultures. This kit also includes mite control powder and vitamin mineral supplements. However, you can choose exactly what you want included in this kit just by changing the quantities on each product.